Hello, I'm Crafty Dragon. As part of a Halloween tradition, I create a tent instead of a trunk for my school's trunk or treat with my family's help. This video is a tutorial on how I made the different pieces on the tent's interior. From the first movie, I chose to include the volcano and the red death. To start the volcano, we gathered boxes, then stacked and taped them together. Chicken wire was wrapped around the boxes to provide a shape for the paper mache. We added a shelf for the red death. We had a total of two layers of flour and water paper mache on the volcano. The entire thing was then painted gray. I dry brushed dark gray on the volcano, adding different divots, and I used light gray to add highlights. Then the lava was added with fluorescent spray paint. Red cellophane was added to the top of the volcano, and flickering battery-operated tea lights were placed to give it a lava-like feel. The red death was created with a milk jug and a cardboard base, the paper mache. Its base color is dark turquoise. I painted its mouth, nostrils, horns, and eyes. Shading was added. I added its warts, or maybe it's lava algae. The front of the horn was painted a light blue color as I tried to match the original dragon from the movie. I cut out tiny triangles from simple printer paper and glued them around the mouth of the red death for teeth. Since we included the volcano and the red death, it only seemed fitting that I include the A Sanctuary and Valka's Bewilderbeast from the second movie. To start the sanctuary, a long, large cardboard strip is glued together at both ends to create the circular base of the sanctuary. This is glued on top of a larger cardboard piece. We cut a hole in the bottom of the base to later insert a lamp for effects. The base was painted white and brown with watered-down paint. Ice spikes were created with simple white craft paper. Chicken wire was attached to cover the top of the cardboard base so that the ice spikes were able to be taped on top of it. We tried different light options, but chose a blue LED light in the end. The light bulb is put on a lampstand and is placed in the opening at the bottom of the base. The bewildered beast was started with a square piece of cardboard. Extra cardboard strips from the door of the Great Hall are cut to shape and hot glued to the bewildered beast as its horns. I glued smaller horns on his face, trying to mimic the real thing. The whole thing was painted with white paint. The top of the horns were dry brushed brown, then black, and painted his eyes and teeth. Originally, I was going to have light gray cardboard pieces as its giant tusks, but my mom was able to make 3D tusks with leftover chicken wire and one quick layer of paper mache. Two holes were cut out and the horn's wires were attached with duct tape and hot glue to the back of the dragon's head. The head was glued to a sheet of cardboard, painted and cut out to look like its body. The body has reinforced holes with velcro strips to hold it to the corner tent pole. From the third movie, we created pillars and dragon eggs from the hidden world. The tall hidden world pillars are two pieces of cardboard glued together. They were scorned to create folds. Smaller cardboard strips were glued to the inside of the pillar for support. Clothing hangers were added so they could be hung from the tent frame. Then they were painted black. I used fluorescent colored spray paint and three different circle stencils to create the glowing circles on each pillar like the ones in the movie. For the nest and dragon eggs, the nest has a cardboard base with newspaper balled up inside plastic newspaper bags. The bags of paper were then twisted and taped down to the cardboard base to look like boulders. This is given one to two layers of paper mache. Then it was painted and shaded, and like the pillars, I used circle stencils to create the glowing circles with fluorescent paint. As for the large dragon eggs, we started by buying clear plastic eggs off of Amazon. The inside of the eggs were painted with watered down purple and the outside was given orange swirls. And later, a layer of orange fluorescent paint was painted over the top. The baby dragons were made in a bit of a rush. My first idea was to make it the same way I made my shoulder dragons. But because of the time rush, I made the basic shape of the dragons with newspaper and tape. This was wrapped in duct tape. Then I cut out and hot glued cardboard wings and legs to the body. The hot glue held surprisingly well to the duct tape. I checked the all fit inside the eggs before spray painting them with fluorescent orange and left to dry. The dragons were put inside the eggs and placed in the nest. That's all for the inside of the tent. If you want to see the rest of the 2019 Halloween tent playlist, click the little eye in the corner. Bye!